Hello, this is Jeff Miller from the LA Times. I'm the Chargers beat writer, and we are in Costa Mesa at the Hogue Performance Center, where the Chargers are preparing to play the Baltimore Ravens in the first round of the playoffs. These two teams met two weeks ago in Carson. Baltimore won 22 to 10, so the Chargers have some adjustments to make, and I'm sure the Ravens will be doing the same thing. But uh, the two biggest things are offensively, they have to stay on the field. They had a uh, really hard time staying on the field the last two weeks against this Baltimore team. You cannot allow them to dominate the ball on offense. That's how they. They win games. That's what they've been doing for the last few weeks since they changed quarterbacks, went to Lamar Jackson. They dominate time of possession. That's what happened in the first game. The Chargers can't allow that to happen. The other thing they have to do is they have to protect Phillip Rivers. They had a really difficult time handling Baltimore's blitzes. The Ravens know that. They're going to do the same thing. They're going to do more of it. They're going to disguise it, and the, the Chargers absolutely have to adjust, make that adjustment, or they're going to have no chance. Both teams are going to have an advantage. Obviously, you're going to go and watch the game over and over, uh, look at the things they did with Really well, uh, look at the things that you did well in the game, and um, try you know maximize the opportunities that we're going to have in front of us when we go up there. And we know going up there is going to be a tough task. Uh, these guys have a really good home base. Uh, their fans are really well. It's going to be a loud, hostile environment. But fortunately for our football team, we play really well in the away games this year. And so uh, we look forward to this game on Sunday. I know it's been a lot of talk from their side, and so uh, we're excited for it. I think it probably works both ways. You know, I think that they understand us too. You know, so. Um, you know, I think that it was just a couple weeks ago, some of the things, obviously you look at changing game plans and doing some different things. So there's some new things that we have to do defensively. But just the style of the running backs, the style of the quarterbacks, the style of the receivers, the offensive line, you know, the style they want to play, that, that is pretty fresh in our guys' minds. I just think from a game plan perspective, you played them two weeks ago, so not much has changed. Um, and then just from a familiarity standpoint, you played them two weeks two weeks ago, so a lot of the uh, old linemen, um, a lot of their personnel you're already familiar with because you just saw them. Yeah. So I think those are the two big things. Scheme, you can't expect a whole bunch of change in two weeks. And then personnel-wise, it's the same players. I would anticipate it being a low-scoring game. It'll probably be the winners are probably going to be in the 20s like the first game. It's going to be a very hard-fought, hard-hitting game. I think the Ravens will probably win, and I would say probably go with something like 20 to 17, 20 to 14, something like that. But I, I do think uh, at home, uh, the Ravens have been playing really well, and if they can get the game on their terms, I think they, they will win, and I anticipate that happening.